Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to show you one of the greatest financial decisions of mine. <laughs> so flip phones are definitely making a comeback uh, as, what have we, as what we have seen on recent Korean dramas. And of course I want to have one but I still have a good and still functionable phone that I have been currently using. And of course, I want to have a flip phone, just like on the Korean dramas, but then I don't want to spend a lot of money, so I am settling with this one. So it's an old school phone, which is really great, and it's called the LG Winesmart. So I have bought this phone online on Facebook Marketplace, but you can also see this on Shopee and Lazada here on the Philippines. And it's definitely a great buy, it's worth it, I love it. It's cheap, actually, since it's a refurbished phone or already a second-hand phone. And I've bought this with um, Issue. So let's open this. See you. I love the sound and oh my god, the power of flipping phones. I know. <laughs> like if you want to cancel a call, just... Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so I have already designed the phone. Uh, the only main issue of this phone, that's why I have um, bought it for a very cheap price, is that the Wi-Fi doesn't work. So um. So this LG Wine Smart is actually already a smartphone. So it is, um, I think this was purposely made for the older generation um, because this is also a touch screen phone. Let me open this. Okay, so this is my home screen. So this is a touch screen phone and a keypad phone. Okay, so yeah, that's why I think it's purposely made for the older generation so it doesn't keep up with the smartphones nowadays, but I think everyone does now. So let me show you what are the apps that I have downloaded for this phone, even though it's only 4 gig. Okay, so first let me open the data. Okay, alright. So these are the apps that I have um, here on the home screen so that I don't have to press the menu and see all of it so I have saved it here okay so first is Google Drive but that is already a built-in app on the phone then we have YouTube but of course YouTube has been um, upgrading or yeah upgrading its version so we cannot use the new update of YouTube here but I have downloaded um, an AFK or APK actually um, online you can use that but I think my connection doesn't it's not enough to play YouTube channels here but then you can play YouTube on the Google Chrome or the internet and then you can also download TikTok Lite so just I've downloaded the Lite versions mostly on this phone so that it doesn't take up too much space this is the uh, tiktok app as you can see it's functioning really well it's okay and you can just swipe up to watch more videos my data is just very slow so yeah so this is the back button okay So the next app that I have is, of course, this is the Google built-in apps here on the phone and then Play Store and then I've also downloaded Facebook Lite. You can also the Messenger Lite and then the Chrome. Okay, so on YouTube, I cannot play uh, videos here, but maybe on Wi-Fi I can. But on Chrome, I can actually use or yeah, I can watch YouTube. So let's... 
here. Okay. So YouTube is working smoothly here, but on the Google Chrome, but it's okay. Yeah. So YouTube is a go go. Okay. Okay, so I also downloaded Spotify, but of course with the memory that we have 4 gig but i'm not sure if it's expandable if you have um a memory card i haven't tried it yet but yeah i cannot download the songs that i have on my playlist here okay, so i cannot download the songs but you can also play songs here with ease so there's nothing, there's, it's not a lag or it just open up a little slow but then the song plays without lag, it's very smooth. So I'm gonna have copyright is that, okay. And then I've also downloaded Instagram. Um, the app's just taking time to open but then don't worry, it's it functions or uh, it works very well so you can use the scroll down button to look uh, on your Instagram or you can just swipe up and it's really really okay and you can also watch stories here which is good okay so that those are the apps that I have Okay, and then, okay, so let me take you now to the buttons of the phone. So this one is a back um, button, home button, and this one's right as menu button. So this is the OK button and the left, right, up and down button. This is the message button. So if you press that, it will take you to messaging. Okay, so this is the back button or what I usually use for back, but you can use this as well to as a back button. And this is a Kakao Talk button, but you can change its settings to what kind of app would you like to open up when you press this. So I've used Messenger for this one since I don't use Kakao Talk very often. And then I think this one is ah, oh, it's right as album, so you it will take you to the albums. Yes. And then this one I think is for contacts, yeah. Okay, and then we have the skull button and the drop call button and also this is used as the power button. So for the camera, what do you expect from uh, this kind of phone? Well, it, but it's okay. It, does its, it serves its purpose very well. And yeah, so it's just here on the back so it's hard to you know, focus on uh, the subject that you want to take photos of and sometimes it gets blocked by your finger and it also have a selfie cam so you can use that as well but of course don't also expect a lot from the camera okay, if you're a camera person so if you want to know how I designed my home screen, my lock screen, let me know so I can make another um, video for that. So far, I really like this phone. It's giving me the 2009, 10, 11 vibes, which I really want to have um, a flip phone before, but I cannot because I cannot afford it. But then right now, it feels really nostalgic and yeah, just the power of sleeping phones it's, it really feels good okay um just as a downside of it um no, i'm not sure if it's a downside but what i'm struggling with is when you make a message or when you type a message wait let me show you so when you type a message well i have already been living in the era of keypad phones so I know or I already memorized by heart how to type on keyboards or on keypad but then I am used to having number one as the period, exclamation point, question mark one but it's not or you cannot use it here on number one on this phone it's here and then the space 
when you type a message before like you will say hello I am used to clicking this for the space button but it's not this is not the space button it's the period button the question mark button the exclamation point button so it's not that it's here so I am really struggling with that so we need to press this for um, the space button which I'm still not used right now because I feel like this is the space button okay and then also when you need to capitalize the letter you need to press here there's no other option here when you need to capitalize a, um, a letter also when you need to change it into number you just need to press this one so it will be a number and then this is for Korean or Hangul and then this is for the symbols so you, need, you still need to press the button here on the screen so that's the only thing i'm struggling with on this phone but yeah it does serve its purpose very well it's a great backup phone i think um especially when i'm on public transportations um i'm not comfortable getting my phone out because i have this paranoia thing that someone might get it from me so this one is okay to open in the public transportation but I really like a phone where I can download songs from Spotify but then maybe I'm just gonna download uh, songs online and then put it here so that yeah I can still play or listen to some music when I'm traveling so yeah that's all thank you so if you want me to have a video of how did i customize my home screen and everything here on the messages you can also uh customize um the, the theme of the message like this one i've already changed mine i put it i've put a background for my messages so it's really really cute it's really really cute so yeah let me know so i can make another video of that all right so thank you guys for watching this and i hope you enjoy this please don't forget to click the like button below and also don't forget to put your thoughts on the comment box below and i'll see you next time thank you bye bye